In a workshop outside the city of Verona in the north of Italy, incredible work has been carried out to create beautiful art and stained glass windows. The attention to detail, the time and the skill needed to create these works of art is immense. And from here, these stained glass windows are shipped to churches all over the world. This artist studio is the largest in Italy with over 60 people employed. Anna Piggy is the exporting manager and is showing me around. For a lot of people, they think it's kind of, uh, this kind of art forms have stopped or that there are just a few people um, working with the hands. So they feel like, you know, when you open the, the entrance door, you feel like time has stopped. Everyone working with the hands, creating masterpieces. Walking around, the first thing that hits you is the vibrant colours, all thousands of them. We're looking at thousands of pieces of glass, yes. all different colours. Exactly. Consider that we have more than 1,500 colours. Wow. So you can even see like for the blues, if you would like to have a blue window, yeah. <laughs> you can choose whatever kind of the bluish, the more cobalt, more water color. So it's not as simple as calling up and saying I want a blue stained glass no. window. <laughs> so choosing the right color is extremely difficult. The history of Progetto Artipoli begins in 1953 when Master Albano Poli opened a small art shop in the center of Verona. It was post World War II and many churches stained glass windows had been damaged. Pensato. I believe there would be a lot of work to do in so many churches to fix what had been destroyed by the war. So I started the work. I created a small business in San Fermo di Verona, which was sponsored by the local parish. They gave me a workshop to work in for free. Despite Italy having a post-war crippled economy and prospects looking bleak, Master Poli was determined to make his stained glass workshop successful. And with hard work, over the years, his work became well known in Italy, then in other parts of Europe. Then they broke into the US, China and other parts of the world. The business had become a great success. If you believe in your work, you will get results. I always believed in the work I was doing. Today the workshop produces not just stained glass windows, but also mosaics, sculptures and ironworks everything be made by hand. It takes experience, but you learn everything with passion and it is very rewarding. Glass is beautiful. It is a complex material and starting from scratch, you create a piece, a work. On the other side of the workshop, Diageo is restoring the wells between pieces of stained glass. He's been working here for over 40 years. I work in the welding and restoration of stained glass windows. The passion is always there. I enjoy the work. I put everything into it to do my best. That passion is being handed down to the new generation. And this is very much a family business, as the company is now run by Master Poli's son. And also working here full time are Master's two grandchildren, Alberto and Andrea. It's a workplace that fills you a, mo mo a lot of emotion because you work with beautiness, you work with colors, you work with uh, art, you work with ideas. Really feel pride when I, whenever I come here and I see what was a big company my granddad built from nothing, so it's, it's an honor for me to work here. It's no surprise the boys have ended up working here because growing up, this was their life. Do you both have memories from childhood of being here in the workshop and running around? Yeah, yeah, we, we always uh, used to come here like during summer, whenever we didn't have school, we come here and uh, we draw some sketches and do some stuff here. Causing trouble. Uh, a bit, yeah. <laughs> I always felt it inside of me. Uh, I always felt it was the right thing to do. You know, when you, we grew up in this thing, so it's very part of us. Alberto works in the workshop, while Andrea works mainly in the office. 
Working with churches allows you to do like bigger projects in terms of sizing and all the, the things you do. But I'm really fascinated also by the design part with like uh, cooler design pieces. Today, Artipoli's biggest client is the Catholic Church. This stained glass window is about to be shipped to a cathedral in Beijing, China. But they also produce artistic works for large hotels, for kings and queens, and other extremely wealthy individuals. We work mainly for churches and cathedrals uh, all over the world. But a lot of times um, architects come and they always have a, a hotel that you're also doing or like a residence or, uh, you know, um, um, a palace. So we get to do also works that are um, beyond the, the church works. So this would be though in the realm of royalty and nobility. Exactly. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you names, but I can tell you that we get phone calls from Dubai to China to Middle East, you know, to US, so a lot of different places. One of Artipoli's private clients is a Syrian man who is building a villa in Dubai. He has sent a designer to the workshop to check on the artwork's progress. We have a huge dome that is uh, designed uh, by us and collaborated, of course, uh, and uh, manufactured here in uh, Artipoli. It's an amazing uh, masterpiece, I can say. Uh, we have also a very uh, detailed and uh, important handrail inside the villa. It's a huge uh, also work, uh, work of art. Uh, it's made uh, of iron and a lot of gold leaf. My client is very happy so <laughs> as well. And for Master Poli, at 88 years young, he says this workshop has given him meaning and purpose throughout his life. For me, my joy, my life is here. Some people search for it all over the world. But for me, my joy is here. And eventually, that joy will be left to his grandchildren, who will be the ones bringing it forward into the future, even with plans to possibly start a school here to keep the craftsmanship alive. The techniques are all the same, so they don't change since 500 years. So the technique, the handwork, the hand, the craftsmanship will be always the same. And so it's an honor for me and it's a, a duty, a master to carry it on in time. What are your hopes and dreams for the future? Just honor what my grandfather did and try to make him proud. In Verona, Colum Flynn, EWTN News in Depth.